Hi everyone and welcome back to Audi Technic Centre here in Glasgow. Our latest car into stock is this March 2018 TT Black Edition 2 litre TDI Quattro. This is a 190 brake horsepower model, finished in Mythos Black Metallic with a dark Alcantara interior. The car is absolutely stunning. It's Quattro 4 wheel drive, which is coming up to the litre here, really good. The car has a private plate which is staying on it, so it's donated by the TT as the, the model. Lights on just now are daytime night lights, and then there's powerful zero headlights on top. Diamond cut alloys, again they're lovely, they will be refurbished as well, but the car's just in, so let's get it on light. Quattro badging at the side uh, is removable, so if you like it, great. If you don't, it will come off, no problem at all. Personally, I like it, but it's down to personal taste. Factory privacy glass, LED rear tail lights, twin pipes, and the spoiler is retractable electronically from inside the car. And also goes up and down above 73 miles per hour. TT is well known for their decent sized boot and also flexibility. Luggage cover comes off and both seats do go down flat, so really good load space area. Parking sensors front and rear. So with 190 PS you've got a mixture of power, brilliant traction with the Quattro 4 wheel drive and economy with the diesel 2 litre engine, so a real all rounder. Just a correction to something I said earlier, parking sensors rear only, not front. Fuel filler with this direct access here and nozzle straight in. Back seats, lovely condition. Sports seats with leather at the sides. And to start, simply press the start stop button. And this car does have Audi's virtual cockpit. So this brings on a host of different features. So the car has a tech pack, which gives us the virtual cockpit with nav, and then connectability for your phone, your music, and all car information as well. So this car's been averaging 41.5 to the gallon. Again, good for a sports car. of information. Again with the black edition the flat bottom S line steering wheel is here. Again really lovely with the thumb grips up here. It's an automatic so we have paddle shift in both sides plus and minus and further down the auto box as you'll see. Start stop button here and then Audi's multimedia information system here which uh, when we press any buttons registers what you have on your screen. This car is not due a service for 656 days or 16,500 miles. Um, if you're a low mileage user, you can have it serviced every year. If you do a bit of higher mileage, every two years is whatever you prefer. But the car is fully maintained. Or this side we have fully conditioning. Then we have our override start stop, traction control, hazards and retractable boot spoiler here. 
We have drive select, which will change the weight of the steering and the reaction from the accelerator. And this can be changed at any time throughout the full vehicle. Mention the auto box. Very easy to use. Pull back for sport. And it will register on your screen. So D for drive, S for sport. Put you there. This car has the twin handbrake, so basically when you stop at the traffic lights, the handbrake will automatically apply, it's called auto hold, and when you're ready to go, touch the accelerator, it'll disengage, so really comfortable, you're never touching either of these buttons, even when you leave the car for the evening, and uh, go into the house, the car will, will basically put the handbrake on itself. We have armrest here, which will slide forward, and heighten, very nice comfy sort of armrest, and then we have cup holders and storage for this area. Now this car also has a comfort sound pack, so we do 